Most people think Wi-Fi hacking is just about guessing random passwords. But here's the truth. Hackers have multiple advanced techniques that can break into your network in ways you wouldn't even imagine. In this video, I'm revealing the nine most famous Wi-Fi hacking methods that attackers actually use. Watch carefully, because knowing this might save you from being the next victim. Quick disclaimer, this video is for educational purposes only. My goal is to show you how these attacks work so you can understand how hackers think, and more importantly, how to protect yourself. First up, the dictionary attack. Imagine a hacker holding a book with millions of passwords inside. They just go through the list, one by one, until something clicks. Famous word lists like rockyou.txt contain every weak password people still use, from QWERTY123 to I love you. If your password is predictable, this attack will expose it in seconds. Now, brute force is even more ruthless. Instead of just testing a list, it tries every single combination possible. It doesn't care if your password is random or weird. Given enough time, it will find it. The only thing that makes this attack fail is time. A short password? It's cracked fast. A strong 12-character one? That could take centuries. Method 3. WPA or WPA2 Handshake Capture This one is a hacker's favorite. When your device connects to Wi-Fi, it performs what's called a four-way handshake. Hackers can kick your device off the network, force it to reconnect, and capture that handshake file. Once they have it, they can attempt to crack it offline using tools like Aircrack NG. It's sneaky, it's smart, and it works in real-world attacks. PMKID is the shortcut version of the handshake attack. Instead of waiting for a device to reconnect, the hacker directly requests a special hash, the PMKID, from the router. One hash, one file, and they're ready to crack it offline. It's faster, cleaner, and has made Wi-Fi hacking scarier for modern routers. Method 5. WPS Pin Attack It was designed to make connecting devices easier, but hackers absolutely love it. WPS uses an 8-digit PIN, and with tools like Reaver, that PIN can be brute-forced in just a few hours. Once they have the PIN, the real Wi-Fi password is revealed instantly. That's why security experts always say, disable WPS immediately. Method 6. Evil Twin Attack Picture this. You see your Wi-Fi name. It looks normal, so you connect. But what you don't know is, it's fake. The evil twin attack clones your Wi-Fi network with the same name. Once you connect to it, the hacker is in full control. They can spy, redirect, or even steal your login details. And the scariest part? You probably wouldn't even notice. Method 7. Captive Portal Attack Now, add psychology into the mix. After you connect to that fake Wi-Fi, the hacker shows you a fake login page, just like the ones in hotels or airports. You're asked to verify by entering the Wi-Fi password. You type it in, hit enter, and congratulations, the hacker now has your real password. No brute force needed, just human error. Method 8. Default Credentials and Router Exploits Sometimes, hackers don't even need to crack a password. They just log in with the router's default username and password, like admin slash admin. Shockingly, millions of people never change it. And for older routers, attackers use public exploits to bypass security completely. That's an instant win for them and a nightmare for you. Method 9. Deauthentication attack. And finally, the deauthentication attack. Here, hackers flood the network with special packets that disconnect every device. You keep getting kicked off, reconnecting again and again, while the hacker is quietly capturing your handshake or pushing you onto their evil twin hotspot. It's disruptive, frustrating, and one of the most common real-world Wi-Fi hacks. So there you go, the nine most powerful Wi-Fi hacking methods hackers actually use. If you want to stay safe, use a long, complex password, disable WPS, keep your router firmware updated, and never trust suspicious Wi-Fi networks. At the end of the day, hackers look for easy targets. Don't make yourself one of them. 